Hello again. Welcome back to Manzana Speedways where we're testing an NSR Formula 22 car. In the last video, I do believe it was the one where I changed the, the front guide to the, the screw type guide and it's the longer guide. As soon as I started doing testing, I stripped another gear. I stripped the 25 tooth that I had installed. So I've ordered another 25 tooth. But I stripped another 25 tooth gear. Um, I replaced it. I, I did get the original 27 that came with it. I replaced it with that. But the car has significantly slowed. Um, I was running all the way up to 12 seconds a lap. Uh, most of the time in the 13 seconds. Um, running full throttle around corners. Uh, so I decided that maybe I had done something to the motor. Um, with all the torque that I was putting on it. Um, and wanted to... to Swap the motor out. That's when I ran into the pinion issue. There is NSR's stock pinion. When I first saw that motor in the car, I thought that was the, the motor shaft sticking out the end. That is not. That is brass pinion. Um, there's some new ones that I ordered. The motor is the exact same motor that comes in the Mosler cars, comes in the GT3 cars. It's the exact same motor. Here they are setting side by side. Let's put them on top of each other. There. You can get a good idea just from that glimpse that that pinion is past the end of the shaft, end of the motor shaft. Um, with a set of calipers, I did check it. It is. It is passed. So that's what all of the extra brass is for. All of that brass before the end of the pinion is that is what's actually attaching to the motor shaft. Um, NSR's idea of this is they didn't want to make a new motor with a longer shaft, didn't want to use somebody else's motor, so they built this pinion. The pinion does not come off very easy. I'm going to swap over to my computer right quick and show you what happens. That is someone else had attempted to pull their pinion off and you can see right there they pulled the bearing out of the end of the motor. Maybe they pulled the shaft through the armature also because that's a lot of shaft at the end. So on my motor, I have pulled it a little bit. Hard with one hand to show this, but I've started pulling it and it started pulling the bearing out of the end of the, the can. Get over here in the light. You can see it's flush with the end of the can now. This is a brand new motor. It's not supposed to be flush. It's supposed to be back inside the can. So I just pulled it until I realized what was going on and I stopped. Um, Got to do something different. What I've decided to do, three motors, three different size pinions, put a pinion on each motor. When I want to change pinions, I swap the whole motor. Um, it's a very expensive way to do things. $15 a motor. It's $45 in motors. Um, pinions you would have bought anyway so you, you negate negate that cost but having to have three motors desoldering i guess you got to desolder it anyway you got to pull the motor out of the car to get the pinion off to swap it um i also wanted to show in this video nsr's idea of a, of a pinion puller so they have a washer as you can see fits right next to the can of the motor this is the puller shaft these screws push against the washer which is against the motor shaft and that pulls the pinion off well you're pulling against the pinion but you're also pulling against the motor shaft which could pull the entire motor out of the can since this washer is on the can and has no 
no relation to the bearing so you could pull the entire armature out until the bearing gets as far as it can go the armatures against the can and, and it's just a garbage motor um, very poor idea I have contacted NSR they have responded um, they indicate that they are coming out with something new and better in 2024 um, hope to see it then but until then my solution three motors three different pinions figure out which pinion I want to run and that's what I'll stick with if the motor ever goes bad okay just get a new motor put the same size pinion on and continue there will not be swapping pinions on the motor um, so that is what I'm going to do today is just get these motors set up I'm first going to start with the same stock pinion get the car set back up and see if the reason my car was slowing down was due to the motor going bad um, the other thing that I'm going to do during this this rebuild is I'm going to get rid of the stock magnet so that's the only place the car is dragging is where that stock magnet is at it's not dragging back here on the pod it's not dragging back here the motor wasn't dragging before I pulled it out so even though this is the extra hard green chassis I am still dragging on this magnet um, so I'm actually going to re rebuild the, the original chassis. I, I still have the original chassis and just take the motor, the magnet out um, and rebuild the exact same car with the chassis original. The original, I guess it's just a standard, standard, a medium um, grade. It's not the hard or the extra hard. Um, and that's what I'm going to do to see if that helps. Okay, so I'm going to start to rebuild now. Uh, 